To be successful in this tournament, you have to think like a fish thinks, which means trying to figure out what they like and, and what they don't like. And when that comes to lure selection, the choice you make can be critical. I want my bait to be colored like what they're eating live in the environment. When you're restricted to artificial lures, you need to make your artificial lure look like something real. Now obviously lure selection is very important, but at the same time understanding the forecast could make a big difference between a great day on the water and a very long afternoon. We're fishing against a living creature. It's unbelievable, but it changes so much throughout the course of a day, minute to minute, hour to hour, and that change by the fish is almost always directly related to weather, almost always. The water's warmer, quicker, faster, everything's moving faster, fish's metabolism's faster. The colder it is, the slower you need to go. In general, biologists say bass like the water to be between 65 to 75 degrees. When temps are in the mid to high 70s, they can remain active to up to 15 hours a day. Now, once temperatures get above 80 degrees, the fish get a little less active. So, for example, at 85 degrees, activity drops to less than 8 hours. At 90, it's down to only 4 hours. At the end of the day, when it comes to weather, bass are a lot like people. They don't like it when it's too hot, and they certainly don't like it when it's too cold. And while a little bit of wind isn't a bad thing, with too much wind, it's better just to stay home.